Okay, y'all, so before we did anything, wash your rice. I can't emphasize this enough because you wanna get rid of all that starch and rice water and all everything out. So wash your rice first. So guys, I have some shallots and some garlic that I cooked down with some Greek seasoning. You can use Cavenders or whatever they have in the store. I actually have a Greek seasoning blend that I get from my local spice shop. So that's what I'm using. And then we just kind of cook them down. This is garlic, shallots, a little bit of the Greek seasoning. And I'm just gonna add that in to my rice. Okay, you can add the oil in too. We're gonna go ahead and add in chicken broth instead of water. And I'm actually, I'm adding it to the pan that I just cooked the shallots in because we wanna get all the flavor and everything from the bottom. So I'm putting it in there and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add it that way. Sorry if you can't see. I'm left-handed, y'all. Okay. How much water you're supposed to add? Just do it like, I'm using a rice cooker. This is my favorite thing to use. Now I'm just gonna come in here and kind of blend this around a little bit just so it's distributed. But make sure that you get your rice level again so we won't have any problems with it cooking evenly. That's it, we're gonna close this up. Okay, so we're starting with our tzatziki sauce. Um, I got about one and a half to two cups of Greek yogurt in here. Um, I minced two garlic cloves. We have a tablespoon of white vinegar in here and a half to one teaspoon of salt, okay? And we're just gonna mix that together. And this mixture here, you can actually, um, put in the fridge until you're ready to serve it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the fresh dill and then we're gonna add um, cucumber. All right, y'all, so I added the grated cucumber and I added about a tablespoon of dill. And cucumber, I would say maybe about a half a cup. Um, you don't wanna overdo it on the dill. Um, now for the cucumbers, when you're putting the cucumbers in here, I like to peel them first, unless you're using the mini ones. And if you're using the mini ones, I just wash them really good and then you can just grate them with the peel on. Um, but cucumbers have a lot of water. So what you wanna do after you grate them is strain them so you can get the most water out because you don't want the dish um, to be watery. It's, it's gonna break down on its own anyway. So once you get all the water out of the cucumbers, you can add them in and then mince your dill and add it in. And this is what we have. All right, um, so for our pitas, we're gonna go ahead and use a strip steak. I actually added a little bit of oregano. We're gonna take our Greek seasoning that we have. We're actually gonna season a little more with the Greek seasoning there on the actual steak. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And that should be all you need. We're not gonna do much of that, okay? And then we're just gonna sear these off. Make sure you do both sides, of course. We're not gonna slack on the seasoning for both sides. Not even. Because the Greek seasoning and the oregano together it really makes a difference. Make sure you rub it in. Get all your flavors in there. Sides too. Because once we render the fat and all that, you want that flavor. Good to go. This is our rice all finished. Um, as you can see, all the onions and garlic and everything will come to the top. It's all done. Nice and fluffy and good to go. Gonna mix this around. Um, I'm sure it's good. Of course it's good. What am I talking about? <laughs> what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just go ahead and toss some green onions in here. And then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna add some fresh lemon zest in here right into your rice. And you can put as much or as little as you'd like. 
remember, lemon is pretty tart, so just be careful you don't overdo it, but. And there you go. This is gonna be your lemon rice. We're gonna mix that together. And we're done. All right, so we put some oil in this pan. We're just gonna add a little bit of butter. Two tablespoons. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some onions. We're gonna throw those in there. Put them down a little bit. And we're gonna add in some mushrooms. I'm using just some white mushrooms, but you can add bellas or whatever type of mushroom you like. We're gonna cook those down. We're gonna go ahead and cook these down so we get a little caramelization on them. And this is it guys, the finished product. Thanks for watching.